morning, it's Nancy today. It appears that we're having freezing rain on top of our 10 inches of new snow. And because of that, we're supposed to get a lot of rain and it could take away our snow. <clears throat> and once it starts to melt, it's going to flood the marsh woods. So this could be my last opportunity to go for a walk. It's probably not my very last, but... Let's see. The water doesn't want to drop off. <coughs> We're supposed to get have a changeover between um, the snow and the rain. It's supposed to be freezing rain in between. Naturally, Willem is going to go to work. Dear Heavenly Father, please watch over Willem and bless him that he'll be safe as he drives. Help him to be smart. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Sometimes men, you know, they can do it. Oh, yes, I can drive in that. Not me. I need castor oil so I can make more soap, but am I going to go get it? No. He has to commute an hour and a half. Is he going to do it? Yes. Some people can't live with them, can't live without them. Oh look, I have a dike. A new dike to climb over. A dike over which to climb. Well, let's check on the stream. Yesterday I left here and went to Mira and I just slid on the road. I thought, oh no, I don't want to go in the stream. But I didn't. And I got there and then I didn't think I could come home. But luckily my neighbor was with me and she phoned me afterwards to let me know that it was okay and we could get back home. Get back home. Once it was away. So today I think I'm going to show you formations. Because I like formations. I'm a formationist. Is it okay to be a formationist, you think? I've also redone my snowshoes. I think that the way to do bindings is different. I'll show you. Look at my dike. My dike, my very own little dike. Okay, now this one is my new way. I've got it coming up out of there and coming out of there. And then all I have to do is put my foot in the back. You see all this is falling apart. And then I shall winch it closed at the front. Probably don't even need that part. Let's see if we can just do it without that. Once there was a way to get back home. Now pull this one and it should tighten around the back. Like so. And then I loop it through here. hard to show you and hold the camera at the same time. But look at how you can just sit right there. On <clears throat> okay, so I winch it nice and tightly, which you cannot see. Glory be. Okay. Except it can go, my foot can go forward <coughs> with it this way. Unless I winch it very tightly. 
which is hard to do naturally. all this lovely snow out of my boots. Becoming a lot of work. Okay, that one's on. Ooh, this is very packy snow. I could make a huge whoa, snowman. <clears throat> The nice thing about snowshoes, as much trouble as they are, is that you have access to places that are inaccessible when it's as full of snow like it is today. Oh, here comes my sweetheart, determined. Gave him my cell phone. Oh, rolling stop. Would you like his license plate number? Phone it in, phone it in right away. Once there was a way to get back homeward. Oh, once there was a way. I know you can't see it because I can't show it to you, but I have put a loop on the back of my snowshoe. On the back of this thing. I don't want anybody to step on that with their other snowshoe. By anybody, I mean me. Okay, I am now prepared. Mm. My back is kind of all stiffed up. Mm. This ought to limber me up. I even have mittens. Even though it's not cold, this is for when I fall down. And go boom. Yes, I could. Tis within the realm of possibility. Alas. And they're purple. Otherwise, I'm wearing my camouflage coat. Okay. Shall we embark? Let's change videos. That was the getting ready video. Bye!